Uh, it's good being number one. Hey, everybody. This is JT Productions, and we absolutely just slacked the South Carolina Shamecocks. It was a pretty good game all around. I think we may have punted twice. One was pretty much end of the game, trying to kill clock. The other, earlier in the game, I uh, think it was just a little bit of pressure getting to Stetson, but not much after that. Uh, we Stetson played very well. I didn't see many overthrows. He had a lot of those last week, which I'm sure we were playing a lot of personnel, not doing a lot of more complicated things because of the amount of because of the caliber of opponent we played last week, along with not wanting to show everything that we had. So Stetson played really well. He had over 200 yards passing, two touchdowns, and was our leading rusher with 36 rushing yards and a touchdown, which is abysmal. We should be rushing a lot better. But when you can throw the ball like we do right now, there's no really a reason, right now at least, to perfect the run game. It will come with time, hopefully. We had some screen passes, swing passes that worked out, especially when we got to Ladd McConkey. If you saw early, uh, midway through the game, I think in the first half, we threw one out to Ladd McConkey. He juked a defender out of his boots and ducked over to another and got the first down and more. That was one of the better plays of the game. Brock Bowers, oh my goodness, he had an amazing game. Over 170 yards receiving and three touchdowns, three total touchdowns. Two through the air, one on the ground. We just looked unstoppable today. Really no other receiver besides Lad McConkey. I mean, you saw glimpses of like Don Blaylock and Kiers Jackson, I think, got a reception. Rosemary Jackson as well. Later in the game, you had... Uh, Morset, I forget his first name. Sorry about that. But you had Morset. You had Dylan Bell getting some reps. He would have had that long touchdown from Carson Beck if um, if the defender didn't pull him down. But offensively, we looked amazing. Offensive line looked great. Defensively, we looked good. We allowed a touchdown, but that was our third string against their first string. So it's whatever. I would have loved to shut out, but I mean... It is what it is. We had three interceptions, often one by uh, Malachi Starks, true freshman, second one of the season, one by Dan Jackson, and one by uh, Therese Marshall, I believe. So, defense playing lights out. I would have liked us to get more pressure. We had a lot of pressure on the quarterback. One thing that has changed from last year to this year, we're not able to get as many sacks as we have. I think we have one true sack, which that comes with um, – team or quarterback getting the ball out quickly as well so maybe we'll get more as the season goes on we had the same problem after going to the national championship 2017 going into 2018 our defense could not get pressure on the quarterback nor get a sack and our run defense that year was terrible the different the difference between that year and this year our run defense is solid pass defense is amazing we get pressure on the quarterback. It's just we cannot get sacks for the life of us. Kicking looked good. Zirkle came in late in the game and sick, synced a, I think it was like a 20 or 30 yard field goal to give us a 48 to, uh, 48 to nothing lead at the time. So we looked great. Also, it didn't look like Stetson Bennett liked Williams Bryce Stadium all that much. I mean, I can't blame him. If I had to hear that daggum rooster go off every five minutes, I'd get nauseous too. Anyways, it's great to be number one. Let's do it next week. Not get complacent and get the win. Go dogs and have a great day.